How are you doing? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. Hey, you're Brady's probably top tight in this class. Are you taking a lot of pressure back or are you feeling better? Uh, you know, I, I don't think of it like pressure. Um, look, all I'm trying to do here is play my best ball, um, show these teams, you know, my personality, how intense I am about the game of football, and there, there's no pressure to this. It's coming out here, playing my best ball, being the best person I can be, just like I've done the past three years at ND, um, and, and just keep doing that. I mean, one of the more balanced tight ends in the draft, what do you think? I'd say my receiving. Um, look, I can block anybody you need me to block, but I feel like my red zone, my third down, I can really go up and get that ball. I can make contested catches, um, and I can really route people up, I feel like. And so I can have that connection with that quarterback also. Um, you know, he, he knows where I'm going to be. He knows how I'm going to run my route, and I know where that quarterback's going to be putting that ball. You're so. Compared, you're compared to CJ Hawkinson. You're at a 4-7 flat 40. Are you going to beat that? We'll see. We'll find out. I'd have to go with another 87, man, Travis Kelsey. Um, the way he runs his routes, the way he does his thing, man, it's it's like no other. He's he's expanding the tight end game greatly. Um, and so I've got to go with uh, Trav. Got to meet him last summer, great guy. And uh, just, to, just to watch him, watch film on him, um, you know, see how he plays his game. He's tremendous at, at the tight end position, and he's doing amazing things for the tight end position too. What do you think is your greatest takeaway from Notre Dame, and how are you going to change that into the NFL? My greatest takeaway um, would probably be my leadership. Look, man, I was a captain last year. We started out 0-2. Um, we didn't really know what to do. We had a captain's meeting. We said, look, what do we need to change? And, and the answer was, we're not, we're not going to change anything. We're going to stick to our standard, stick to our execution, same amount of periods every day. We're just going to keep working hard. Um, we're going to keep a positive mindset. We're going to positively communicate. Um, and nobody's going to walk in this facility hanging their head. Nobody's going to complain, things like that. And that's what we did. We kind of turned the season around and I feel like we had a pretty positive season. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> right now in the present, I'd go Travis Kelsey one. I'd say Gronk two. And, and Tony Gonzalez, I never even really got to watch. And, and I got to watch Gronk and, and Travis Kelsey a lot. So I guess I'd put him at three. But I know he was a baller, man. I know he did his thing for the tight end position. So There have been reports that you've really impressed in interviews so far. What do you think you've done to, to really get teams' attention? Going back to a little bit to what I said before, look, I'm going in there and being myself. I'm intense about the game of football. I love the game of football. And so for me, it's, it's, it's going in there and not trying to be any fake person not trying to be anybody else, um, you know, explaining how I play the game of football and, and, and how I attack the game of football, how I prepare for the game of football, things like that. So it's all been about just being myself, man, and showing these coaches, showing these scouts just how much I love football and, and how I prepare for the game of football. Say that again. Yes, sir. It went well. I think it went very well. Um, like I said, man, I've just been trying to go into these meetings and show these, these coaches what type of person I am. I love the game of football. I love to attack the game of football. And uh, you know, all these formal meetings, I, I believe, have been going very well for me. In terms of... Yeah, I got to work on my blocking technique. There's no doubt about that. Um, I feel like this past year, it's something I definitely took a jump on. I started working on it way more than I had my freshman and sophomore year at the University of Notre Dame. And so at this point, it's just going to keep getting better. My technique's going to keep getting better. I'm going to keep learning things um, from veterans. I'm going to keep learning things from, from coaches that have been around the game 20, 30, 40 years. And so at this point, it's only up uh, for my blocking. I have. Yeah, Bills, they're a great organization. Um, obviously, they got a, one of the best quarterbacks in the league right now um, in Josh Allen. And so, um, really, it's, it goes back to my point before, man. It's just trying to be myself, trying to show these coaches what type of person I am and, and does it fit their culture, does it fit their team. Um, and so, that's what I've been trying to do. I think it went very well. I, I've watched him for sure. Uh, like, great player, great player. Um, big red zone threat, um, you know. I think he's a great player, and uh, you know it, it, it would be cool to, to play with him. And I think it'd be cool to just you know go against him too. I already have. It was formal. Yeah, great, great coaching staff, man. Uh, there's no doubt about that, and I think it's it goes back to my point before, just trying to show them what type of person I am. Does it fit their culture? Does it fit their their people? Does it fit the standard of what they're uh, what they're trying to do there with their program? 
Uh, it's exciting, man. He finds ways to get you open. There's no doubt about that. He finds ways to get you open. There was a million different ways that, that, that he got me open, um, as you can see, really, the past three years. Um, you know, slips, overs, shallows. And really, this past year, I really started kind of going downfield more, getting some balls coming my way past 20, 30 yards. And so, you know, he can do that too. Um, so. Yeah, we had a great offense this past year. We really turned it around after that 0-2 start, and so, yeah. Obviously, you had a, a huge coaching change your last year at Notre Dame. Could you speak to, like, how you went through that process? Yeah, um, so I got a new tight ends coach also um, by the name of Coach Parker. Great guy, knows a ton about the game of, game of football. He actually just got promoted to OC at Notre Dame. So it was really cool for me to be able to spend one year with him and, uh, you know, have a little bit of uh, – success and then obviously for him to have success to be able to go be an OC um, and then coach Freeman yeah it, it was awesome you know it's not easy coming in like that and being a first year coach like that and you know going through two quarterbacks in a season and then the hurt one comes back and plays in the bowl game and you win the bowl game um, it was cool to be able to be in those captains meetings with him man he's a great guy and a great leader um, and he was a DC um, before I got there or before he became head coach so it was cool to see him go from D.C., me going against him a little bit in practice, and then him being the head coach and sitting in those captain's meetings with him. He knows how to lead. There's no doubt about that. He, he attacks with a positive mindset every day. You'll never see, you know, much negative stuff coming out of his mouth. So um, it was great to be able to, you know, be in that captain's room with him and, and really just, you know, see how he thinks. It would, it would be awesome. You know, Joe Burrow throwing me that ball, man. Look, he's a, he's a national champion. Um, he's taking his team to the Super Bowl. And so, obviously, I'm trying to win ball games, man. I'm trying to go to the NFL. I'm trying to win ball games and win a Super Bowl. So, um, yeah, I want to be put in a good position for sure to be able to have a good quarterback throwing my way, be able to win some Super Bowls and, and things like that. So, um, you know, growing up 15 minutes from, from – Day Stadium, man, it, it, it would be it would be awesome. There's no doubt about that. Mike, you are younger than some of the other prospects in your position. Is that an advantage or disadvantage going to the I think an it's an advantage for sure. Look, I, I, my past three years, I missed one game, one game total um, from a strain growing, and I think to be available like that is fantastic. And so, um, you know, staying injury free, playing my game the way I want to play my game, I just feel like that's what I got to keep doing. Mike, how did you lose the process? Hey, when I came in as a freshman, um, really good tight end by the name of Tommy Tremble. He plays for the Panthers now. Uh, that's my guy. Talked with him a little bit, FaceTimed with him a little bit, um, you know, just asking general questions like, look, how were the meetings? How were the formal, informal meetings? What did you kind of do to prepare? Things like that. Um, and he helped me out tremendously. And, and that's my guy. And I can text him whenever I want. I know that. And, and I can call him whenever I want. He can give me any type of feedback. So it's been great to have him in my pocket, man. Brock Wright, who was also, uh, you know, playing for the Lions right now. He was there when I was a freshman, too. And so, you know, what the University of Notre Dame is about is, is guys like that helping out. And, you know, when I get to the league, anybody on that team can call me. They know that. Um, and, and I'm going to help them out, too. So that's, that's what Notre Dame's about. Do you ever have the adversity of last year? How are you able to put apart the adversity of the league and go on the field to be a good yeah, a little bit what I was talking about before. We started out 0-2, and we didn't really know what we were going to do. Uh, what we did is we sat down and we said, what do we need to do here? What do we need to change? And the answer was, look, we're not changing anything. We're keeping the standard. Nobody's, Everybody's going to come in here with a positive mindset. Nobody's going to complain, mope, things like that. And uh, we kind of just attacked every day. It's singular, like, you know, don't worry about the, the, the future. Attack every day. Come to practice with a positive mindset. And that's what we did, man. We really didn't change much. We just started winning some ball games, and we kind of turned the season around. How is Brandon Joseph says you're a Georgia kid? How does that work for you? Hey, I don't care what anybody. I'm just trying to play my ball, man. I, you can compare me to whoever you want. Um, I love B. Joe. He's a great guy. He's a great safety. Um, and, and really, man, I'm just trying to go out there and play my best ball. I'm not. I'm not trying to compare myself to anybody. But George Kittle's a baller, obviously. So it's 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 a compliment, that's for sure. Um, but. Go ahead. I've met I've met him once. I've met him once. 
Um, I think the one thing he told me was to network as much as possible at the University of Notre Dame. That was um, that was his advice. Um, so I, huh? A business guy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was his advice. And but great guy, great to meet him. Uh, met him out at dinner. Oh, great relationship. He's signed to Athletes First. I'm signed to Athletes First. Um, so we've been around each other, man. We know the same people. Uh, we, 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 we had a great time at tight end you in Nashville this past summer. Um, just another one of those Notre Dame guys, man. What, Ever, would, what would it be like to play with him with the Chicago Bears? It'd be sweet. There's no doubt about it. That dude's a baller. He knows how to block. He knows how to receive, things like that. And, you know, at this point, it, it's not about me deciding, oh, it would be cool to, uh, you know, play with this guy or it'd be cool to play with this guy. It's about, you know, what team wants me, and I'm going to go to that team and, and try to play my best ball. That's what this is about. I think I can think I can do anything any team asks me to do. I can be I can be in the backfield and I can block, man. I can be a fullback and block. I can be at the end. I can be out by the numbers. I can be in the slot and, and run routes. I can do it all, man. And that's really how I feel. And I, I think there's a lot of teams here that believe the same thing. What traits did you see from Coach? Yeah, it's some, I have a little bit of joke. I just tell people it's how I was born because it kind of was how I was born, man. I just grew up like this. My intensity about sports, uh, I played a lot of basketball growing up, and I think just my intensity and my, uh, you know, a little bit, you could say, controlled anger, controlled madness about the game of football. Um, I just I, I don't try to change for anybody. I, I attack the, the game of football like I do anything else in life. And so um, I had a great two parents that raised me, you know, learn about respect, dignity, things like that. And so I've kind of just been, you know, taking life things and taking football things and kind of combining them this past, you know, four or five years, and, and it's been working out well for me. What traits did you see from me? What part of your game do you feel like is underrated? Or I don't think any part of my game is. What's your favorite route? My favorite route's got to be a sale route um, against man. I feel like there's nobody that can that can uh, cover me in a sale route against man. Definitely one of my favorites. What traits did you see from Coach Parker last year that think you will say learn? that again? What traits did you see from Coach Parker that will lend itself well to being uh, I think it was it was details, man. I think it was details. I think it was coming in and really focusing on look, your foot should be going here, your hands should be going here, instead of just saying, yeah, you got in front of the guy, you blocked him. I think it was about. Um, what do you need to fix in terms of the detail world um, in your routes? Look, you need to go two more steps here because you got to go three or four more yards. You can't cut that short. If you cut that short, the defender's going to pick it. He's going to get a hand on it, things like that. So we've really, really been focusing on details in the tight end room this past year. And how do you think that will translate to being the OC? I think it will translate tremendously. I think he knows a ton about the, the game of football. Look, he's been around football a ton. He played in college. Um, and I'm excited to see what they can do there. they got some weapons there, that's for sure. And it's going to be fun watching them this next season. Uh, so, yeah, my growth. Um, look, my leadership has got tremendously better. Coming in as a freshman, like I said, I learned, I learned about leadership like guys from Tommy Tremble and, and Brock Wright and things like that. And so over the years, I, I've kind of learned, like, I learned things, but then I've kind of put my own twist on them, um, so to say. So I've kind of, it's been awesome to be a leader, um, and, and I learned from, from great leaders, and so I've kind of just taken things from them, maybe put a little twist on it here and there and, and things like that. Um, and, yeah, I had met with the Bengals, yep. My earliest NFL memory? Um, I don't know, man. I remember being a Bengals fan, and I remember uh, Ocho Cinco and TJ Hushmanzada and, and, and boys like that just going out there and doing their thing and having fun playing football. And I just remember thinking, like, they look like they're having fun out there, man. And, and I'm, that's how what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to go out there, play the best football I can, and, and have some fun doing it. Like, like, yeah, I'm not worried about that. Um, these teams know know how I play football. They know I can play football. I know I can play football. I know what I can do. These teams know what I can do. So I'm not worried about what anybody's saying on the outside at all. How did you coach? I have. So I about playing basketball a lot growing up. Was, was that ever the dream, or was there a moment when it, when it pivoted from basketball? Yeah, I think probably eighth grade year, uh, freshman year, uh, I kind of switched from basketball to football. It's just, I got a bench press in my basement, started lifting, man. I, I lost my jump shot. I couldn't shoot 
<laughs> worth anything. Um, so I, I played football my freshman year, played middle backer and tight end, and, man, I kind of just took off from there. Got a little big, bigger, got stronger, got faster, uh, things like that. I think the first thing it did is resilience. Because, look, man, you, you play sports your whole life, and what's one thing that's kind of the main theme throughout all sports? You don't want to lose. And so playing basketball at an early age like that and playing competitive basketball at an early age like that, when you lose, man, it's the worst feeling in the world. So I think it's just a little bit of resilience in that sense, like a little bit of competitive spirit um, that, that taught me and, and kind of rolled it over to football. How did Coach Parker go about kind of building relationships with you, kind of motivating you as he's kind of coming into coaching a guy who already done a lot through a couple years like he did? Yeah, it, it, was early, it was easy to get along with Coach Parker. I mean, look, both Kentucky boys. Um, and the first thing he did was call me right when he got hired. He wasn't even on campus yet called me right away and said, look, we're going to do some special things this year. I already got some things in my mind I know we can do. And the first day he got on campus, we went and met, man. And and it's it's not always about football for him, man. It's always, um, you know, how's life? How was your day? Things like that. And I think that's important for a coach to do. There's no doubt about that. It doesn't always have to be football, man. You can talk about life. You can talk about family, what's going on in your life, things like that. And so I think he builds a connection like that, man. He's not always talking about football. And so I think he really cares what's going on in your personal life, too. And I think that's very important for a coach. We talked about needing to improve your blocking. How do you think it's a step too so far? How does that control? Yeah, number one would be technique. Um, there's no doubt about that. Hands inside, get your hips into them, things like that. And I think that's one of the things Coach Parker really helped me with is the details in my technique, my steps, things like that. And then, yeah, on the, on the controlled madness side, controlled anger side, um, I really, I'm in my, I'm in my own little zone out there. So um, when I'm playing football, I'm, I'm as controlled as can be, but I, I come out as a little angry. Um, and so it, it's just kind of how I've been playing sports my whole life, man. It's it's nothing I need to change or anything I need to do. It's just how I've been playing. Thanks, what do you think is next? Yeah. All right. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.